Welcome back guys in the last tutorial in the series. In the previous videos you learned how to go ahead and create bucket on Amazon Web Services uh, and uh, you also learned how to upload a single file image and in this video as I promised I will teach you how to upload multiple images on the Amazon Web Services. Okay, great, so let's begin. So this is going to be a short video guys because uh, this is just a continuation of the previous video and you already know how to upload file images by now. Uh, if you don't then you can watch the previous videos before you start this one. Okay, um, so now all you need to learn is how to create, uh, how to upload multiple images. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a route for that. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my blog. Okay, and let's see. Okay, the first thing we need is basically the form for that. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it here into my component. Before we even, even create the route, let's just create the component. Okay. So let's paste it here. You can see this for multiple file upload. Okay. <clears throat> and we need to cre again create these functions. The only difference between the, this this form and this one is that this has got multiple um, attribute in, into the input element for multiple file uploads. And again, we are uh, you know attaching an event, binding an event uh, on change and on click uh, to the input element and to the button. And we are calling this custom function multiple file uh, change handler and multiple file upload handler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there so multiple file change handler let's go here and just beneath the single file change handler I'll put the multiple file change handler and I will also put the function which is multiple file upload handler just beneath the single file upload handler let's see how it looks like on the front end brilliant so you can see now we have upload multiple images uh, option as well wherein when we click on choose files which is basically this event will be uh, you know calling the function multiple file change handler and this is going to <coughs> set the state of selected files which we initially uh, put that to null set that to null okay and it's going to give me the event target dot files why we are not asking the first element is because we want all the files that the user is selecting okay we can set a limit to how many files you want to be uploaded in the uh, backend while creating the api but uh, over here we need all the files okay so if i go back to this function whenever the user uh, you know select the file and clicks on upload when he clicks on that button so we have bind in event over here, which is on click event, and this calls this function multiple file upload handler. And this is where again we'll go ahead and create new form data and set its value equal to constant data. And we'll say selected files is equal to this dot state dot selected files because we are changing the state uh, because when the state uh, is set over here, it is it will contain all the files data inside of this. So we're just storing that into a variable. And we are checking if uh, it has the value, which means if a user has selected a file, we are running a loop on that file, and we are keep on appending uh, those files to the data that we have. So it'll be given in form of an array. We are naming the uh, input to gallery image for that file, and then we are passing selected files, um, zeroth element, and then one first element, second element, uh, you know, depending on how long the array is. Okay. And then we're running the xuse.post uh, again. I'll just comment this out because we haven't created that route yet. I just want to show it to you what do we get inside of this. I'll be missing anything. Let me see. No. Okay, so let's select. Okay, I think that we have missed something. Uh, what are we doing wrong? Okay, let's just put this. Okay, great. So let's uh, do an inspect element. 
so we can see what's going on. We'll choose a couple of files, so a lot of pictures. Choose this one and this one. So we click on that, sure enough, you can see that we've got a file list, zero at first, and so on. So we've got an array basically, and when we click on upload, and then obviously in the state we've got all that information but we, we haven't console the state that's why you can't see that so that's console state this dot state and again we'll just upload it pictures Open, upload. Okay, I think we haven't consoled in the function, that's why we can't see it. Give me a second. Okay, you can see in selected files we have it, right? So in selected files, which we are setting the value here in selected files, okay. We are getting the value from the this dot set dot selected files because that what we are that's what we are doing over here inside of this function. We are setting the state to event dot target dot files. <clears throat> so inside of the event dot target dot files, we have these files in form of an array, and we are taking that array and you know putting that to the uh, putting inside of the data. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and create a route over here. Right. Now we'll go ahead and create this route. Okay. Into our profile dot js. I'll go back to my blog and this will be for the multiple file uploads. I'm just going to copy this and just paste it <coughs> just beneath it. So let's see what's going on over here. The first thing we're doing again we're creating another function like we did in the first one. Uh, we are uh, you know setting the property S3 setting its value to S3 so all the keys that we have created so it's going to get the credentials from there and then bucket will be our what was the name orient new bucket okay so we'll set that while over here public read function limits all of that we've done that in the previous video so we'll go over that what the difference is that this is now is a dot array function and we're using the same name that we have put over here gallery image okay and then we are setting its value to 4. So whatever value you set over here, it will accept those many images. If you set it to 2, it will accept only 2 images. But in the previous function, we had single and then the name of the, the file. Uh, not name of the file, but name of the input. Okay, file name. Uh, and in this, we have array. Okay, so that's the difference. And then we are creating a route again to this API profile. Multiple file uploads. Okay, and again, I'm calling that function right here, which is also checking the file type, which we've already defined on top. And this one to check the file type. Okay, and I, again, I'm following the same process as I explained to you in the previous video. The only difference over here now is that in the request.files, we'll have an array of files. Okay, uh, and we are running a loop. We are looping through and getting the location value uh, from that file. So just show it to you what I mean. I'm just going to upload file over here to show you what's happening so I'll click on upload <clears throat> let's see I think we do need to refresh it are we missing anything let me see okay I have not done xios.post I have not uncommented this out let me just do that so same thing is happening over here as well as the previous video we are accessing this API which we have just created and following the same thing over here and getting the response okay so let's upload file now and see what what happens Click on upload. Sure enough, we've got the response, right? If we check, 
you can see that we in the request.files which we console out here what do we have we have an array you can see files that's the name that we have given here files right so in files I have an array you see this bracket sign right and it's ending 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 over here right so it is the first item let me just increase the size the first item has got field name original name same as we had before we had the key this was what we were interested in and we have the location which is the URL that we're going to use while displaying it uh, on the front end and, or while saving that information into the database. So we had applied two files. We have these two files with the bucket name and we have that in form of an array. We have these two uh, URLs as well, right? And that's what we are passing. We are passing the files array that we have got here and then we are passing the location array. We are just looping through this the uh, this array and uh, getting the location value and pushing it into an empty array and just passing that array over here so that we get these two uh, URLs for these files. So that's what we have here. We have files array which includes these two files information and then we have the location array which contains these two URLs and we can use these URLs into our image source uh, to display them on the front end after saving them into the database. Okay. So I hope that is clear. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. If you did enjoy the video of all the efforts that I've taken to build this up, to write the blog as well as post this on YouTube, uh, if you did like everything, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, that will really be motivating for me. And do share my videos with others. If you have any questions, leave the comment. You take care, guys. Bye-bye.